Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your love reading. We're going to be doing the 411 on your connection. Everything you need to know about what's going on for you in love, uh, how you feel about each other, hidden factors, what's happening next. All of that will be in this reading. So as always, this is meant to be a general love reading, Scorpio. So it will not resonate with every Scorpio watching. Take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. Feel free to check out your other placements. I have all of the playlists for each sign linked in the description box. So you can check out your moon, your rising sign, and all that fun stuff. All right, for Scorpio, spirits, angels, guides, what messages, guidance, insight do you have for Scorpio in love? What does Scorpio need to know regarding love? Let's see what we have for you, Scorpio. Okay. What's going on in your connection right now? We have the Four of Swords reverse, the Two of Pentacles. Okay. What do we need to know about this? Any challenges, insight? Queen of Pentacles, High Priestess, reverse. Okay. Um, so with Four of Swords, reverse, High Priestess, reverse, I'm getting uh, energy of like, speaking up or something being addressed or spoken about. I think that's the main energy here. And I feel like whatever's coming out, whatever's being addressed or communicated, I feel like there's almost like a decision that needs to be made about this. We'll see when we clarify what these energies really are. How do you feel about this person? Three of Wands. Knight of Cups. So I feel like you're waiting for this person to communicate. How do they feel about you? King of Wands reverse and the devil, Capricorn energy. Not sure what that's all about. This person, you know, when I see the King of Wands reverse with the devil, I think someone that has really screwed up. They jumped into something and are now trapped or they did something without thinking, um, were very, a little too motivated, a little too, I guess, drawn to something that ended badly or led them down the wrong path with the devil. So we'll see what that's all about. Okay, what do you need to know? Any hidden factors? Ten of Swords reversed, the Sun reversed. Interesting. I feel like there's something hidden here. Um, with the sun reverse because sometimes when i see the sun reverse i think of the moon so i feel like there's something hidden here about an ending or an ending that already happened we'll see what that's all about when i clarify where is all of this headed ten of wands ten of pentacles reverse wow look at all these tens uh well it's not looking good from what i can see here there's burdens, obligations, there is a lack of stability, a lack of um, security. Uh, this Ten of Pentacles reverse could also be a commitment that's not doing well. Okay, so why is all of this happening? What's the root? Eight of Cups reverse. So the Eight of Cups reverse could be a card about someone returning, or it could be a card about someone that's unable to leave a situation. Let me try to adjust this a little bit. Can you see? Okay. Um, these cards are a little bit longer than the others. Yeah, the Eight of Cups reverse could be a card about someone returning to a place that they left or they're prevented from leaving, delayed from leaving. So we'll have to see what, what that's all about there. Um, interesting. Right behind that, the Two of Cups reverse. So let's clarify. Let's get some insight here so we can find out what exactly is going on for you, Scorpio. I don't think the future looks bright, <laughs> uh, but I'm trying to figure out why why that that is. Um, maybe it's because someone who's making the decision here with the Two of Pentacles, maybe the decision is not the best one. And um, you know, I feel like there's a and the thing is too, I feel like you're waiting for something here with the Three of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Maybe you're waiting for an apology, waiting for. Uh, them to reveal their feelings or communicate how they feel. So 
So let's start first with why everything is happening, this Eight of Cups reverse. Tell me about the Eight of Cups reverse. What's this about for Scorpio? Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Why is the Eight of Cups reverse? Okay, we got two. Queen of Swords, King of Pentacles. Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So what I'm getting here, I'm getting two very different energies. What's behind this? King of Swords, okay. And then behind that, Ten of Wands, okay. So interesting, now that I see the Ten of Wands. Um, what I'm getting here is that there is, I feel, an opportunity that someone wants or a promise that they've made. Um, but this Queen of Swords is all in the King of Swords with the Ten of Wands here. Um, it's almost like something needs to be cut off, you know, or someone needs to address something in a cold, calculating way, like this Ten of Wands needs to be addressed and it's shown up here, so I know it's important. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here? What's this Queen of Swords about? The Sun, aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is about clarity, so the truth. Um, Things seen in the open or seen clearly. Remember, the sun is reversed. So I feel like this is what's in, what's what needs to happen almost. Like someone needs to be very clear about how they feel or about a departure or something like that. Tell me more about this queen of swords. Why is the queen of swords here? Yep, the devil. So this is cutting out what's in the way here. I feel like this is this devil energy um, is your it's on your person side. I feel like someone needs to cut this off, like cut the, the chains or something like that. And I feel like if they do that, it will be a very public thing or something that's like out in the open. Maybe somebody would need to do this in order to be happy with the sun. But really the sun for me in this particular reading, I'm seeing like clarity. So the eight of cups reverse with the devil here king of pentacles i feel like someone's already in a commitment or is in a situation that they got themselves into and now they're stuck and they can't really leave with the eight of cups reverse and i feel like this could be because of money or because of this attachment that needs to be addressed so we'll see what's going on here between you tell me about the four of swords reverse and the two of pentacles why is the Four of Swords reverse here with the Two of Pentacles? The world. New beginning, new cycle. Tell me more about the Four of Swords reverse and the Two of Pentacles. Someone making a, a decision, a choice to end a cycle, start a new one. Can I get some more please for the Four of Swords reverse and the Two of Pentacles? Now this is both of your energy, so you're both here. Scorpio, you and your person. Um, so take it as it resonates. King of Wands is here again. So I feel like this is your person. I feel like they want to make some sort of a move here. Eight of Wands, this is about taking action of some sort. So someone wants to take action towards a new beginning, but that's going to require a choice is basically what I'm seeing here. And with the Four of Swords reverse, I feel like this is going to be some sort of revelation or something that's kind of like, like I'm getting something that someone didn't know all of a sudden is out in the open because the High Priestess reverse is here with the Queen of Pentacles. Tell me more about the High Priestess Reverse and the Queen of Pentacles. Why is the High Priestess Reverse with the King, Queen, sorry, Queen of Pentacles? Knight of Swords. Yeah, this is some sort of truth, communication. Now the King of Pentacles for me as a reader tends to already be in a long-term commitment. I feel like there is a possibility that there's already a long-term commitment here because I have the King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and Ten of Pentacles here. And um, it, this devil energy, I feel, is, is a, some sort of an attachment. So this reveal with the high priestess reverse, this is someone 
speaking, communicating. What else do we need to know about the High Priestess Reverse and the Queen of Pentacles? What else do we need to know? Ten of Cups, Six of Cups. Okay, so I feel like this is about, oh, there's a Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I feel like there could be a family situation here. Also, I, the ten, I have all tens on the board right now. Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Ten of Cups. Tens are about completion, the completion, the, com the culmination of something. Things drawing to a close. And the fact that the world is here is telling me that this is a big cycle that's possibly ending or shifting right now. And whatever is going on in this connection or outside of this connection, Scorpio, I feel like it's been leading up to this point, this, this departure, Six of Swords. Now, I don't know if it's you that has to leave a situation or your person that has to leave a situation, but I feel like if it's not a situation, it's a cycle. Um, something here has to end, I feel. And with the Ten of Swords reverse, Ten of Wands, Ten of Pentacles reverse, this is all like coming up, all of this right here. So I feel like this is leading to the end of a cycle or the end of something, you know? Um, and this could be because someone wants to, you know, be with the past, be happy. It could be that there's someone that's revealing how they feel for the first time. Or it could be that someone's realizing what tr happiness is truly all about. I mean, it doesn't, the, the why is not as important as the action behind it, right? Because I feel like this is somebody who, um, or there's some communication happening here. Can I get some, some more insight into this Knight of Swords? Tell me about this Knight of Swords, please. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Three of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you're waiting for this because you have the Three of Wands on your side here, Scorpio. You're waiting to hear this information or get this message or even maybe you're waiting to communicate something yourself. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. King of Swords, yeah. So this is you um, communicating something or your person communicating something that hasn't been communicated. The High Priestess is here. Secrets, mystery. So this is very simple energy that I'm seeing. Um, I feel like the High Priestess reversed, the Four of Swords reversed, and now I have here King of Swords, Queen of Swords, uh, the Sun. This is about clarity and um, communication together. Okay, so let's see how you feel about each other so we can keep moving on here. Spirit, can I get Scorpio's energy and this person they're dealing with their energies as well? What are the energies between Scorpio and their person? What are the energies between Scorpio and their person? Tell me about Scorpio. What is Scorpio's energy at this time? Spare Scorpio's energy, please. Cold shoulder. Silence, distance, coldness. Someone's feeling shut out. Yeah, I feel like you're waiting for communication. Maybe someone feels shut out because communication stopped or someone uh, cut off communication. Maybe there's just a distance, a coldness in this connection. Tell me about Scorpio's person. Tell me about Scorpio's person's energy. Tell me about Scorpio's person. Happy ending and balancing act. So your person, again, I feel like they're trying to determine what their happy ending will look like. Uh, what truly makes me happy? What is happiness all about? Etc. They're trying to decide or trying to juggle here. And it's because I feel they're not very happy where they're at, you know? Let's see. Tell me about the Three of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Why is the Three of Wands and the Knight of Cups here, Spirit? Tell me about the Three of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Page of Cups. I feel like you're waiting for... Some of you are waiting for an apology and others of you, I feel like you're just waiting to hear from this person, almost like confirming what you think they already feel for you, kind of. Yeah, so you want to begin again, basically. You want to start something with this person. 
There's the Wheel of Fortune, bottom of the deck. So a new opportunity, things to move forward, things to begin. And for some of you, things could begin once you receive this apology. And for others of you, things will just begin because you're talking again, right? It's just a kind of like things just end up starting, right? And, th and that is a very common theme here. We have the world, the Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, um, the cycles thing that I was already talking about. This is all leading up to an ending that then, so that then there can be a new beginning, right? So let's look at what's going on with your person down here with the King of Wands reverse and the Devil. What can you tell me about the King of Wands reverse and the Devil? Why is the King of Wands reverse here with the Devil? Justice, Libra energy. Once again, a sword. Tell me about the King of Wands reverse and the Devil. Two of Swords, yeah. That's the problem, that your person hasn't made a decision. The hangman at the bottom of the deck. They haven't made the decision to make things right, to balance the situation, to cut, to, to make a final decision. It's a difficult decision for them. Wherever situation they're in, it doesn't mean that it, it, it's easy for them to cut it out, if that makes sense. Tell me about this Two of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords here? Yeah, it's because this has something to do with home, a marriage perhaps, assets, um, domestic bliss, or just stability. It's almost like this person is worried about stability. <sighs> it's, I feel, the magician's at the bottom of the deck, so I feel like they want to do this. They want to make this happen, but there's a three of pentacles. There's someone else here, or something else here, that's like preventing your person from walking away or making that final decision. And the thing is, you know, when justice is here, justice is all about being objective. Emotions do not play a role with justice. Justice doesn't care how you feel, right? It's all about what's the right thing to do, what's just and fair. And sometimes that means separating your emotions, right? Because sometimes our emotions put us in situations where things are not fair, right? you know, or our emotions cloud our judgment. And so suddenly, you know, we can't really see clearly. Well, justice is all about being objective and thinking logically about all angles of the situation. I feel like this person cannot be objective, <laughs> basically. Okay, so let's see, what do we need to know? The sun reverse, ten of swords reverse. Now, notice how the sun is reversed here and what you need to know are the hidden factors. But we have this other theme about clarity, communication, secrets being revealed or whatever was hidden being revealed. So I feel like this is possibly a barrier here, right? Like perhaps this is what needs to happen. The sun and the high priest is reversed, but it's not happening, right? So let's see if I'm right about that. Tell me because you're waiting, three of wands. Tell me about the Ten of Swords reverse and the Sun reverse for Scorpio. Why is the Ten of Swords reverse and the Sun reverse for Scorpio? What's going on here for Scorpio? And this Ten of Swords reverse is reminding me a lot of the Eight of Cups reverse. Yep, Two of Pentacles. This is your person. They're not able to make a decision. They can't decide to cut something out. Or it's almost like whatever ending has to happen, they're avoiding it or delaying it. Or procrastinating you know spirit tell me more about the ten of swords reverse and the sun reverse can I get one more card please for the ten of swords reverse the sun reverse the queen of wands so this is about deciding whether to take action because you know we have the king of wands here with the world queen of wands here with the two of pentacles so to me very similar energy you could be dealing with a fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius um, I also have uh, Capricorn strongly here and Libra, but the sign is not as important as the energy. Can I get one more please for the Ten of Swords reverse and the Sun reverse? Oh, I got two. 
Nine of Swords. So there's fear, anxiety here, and judgment. Exactly. So this is someone who, once again, their judgment is blocked or fear. Remember what I was saying about justice? Not having emotions be a part of your decision making? This is exactly what I'm saying. Nine of Swords, Two of Pentacles, their fear, their anxiety, their stress, their guilt perhaps, it's making them waver, right? Like they can't do this. They're, they're not able to make a judgment call, right? They're not able to make a decision that honestly, from what I see here, it's meant to happen anyway. Look at all these tens. Remember what I was saying about everything feeling like it's coming to a a fine finality or some sort of culmination, right? Like everything's kind of like leading up to this point. That's the problem. Someone cannot make this decision. It's too hard for them. Or perhaps they go back and forth too often, right? There's no um, surety of their decision. Okay, so let's see what's going to happen next then. We have the Ten of Wands. Ten of Pentacles reverse. So I'm seeing someone carrying on with this burden of something that's not really stable, right? Not really secure. Ten of Pentacles reverse. Tell me more about this Ten of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles reverse. Tell me more, Spirit. Why is the Ten of Wands here with the Ten of Pentacles reverse? Got two. Nine of Cups, Page of Wands. Tell me about the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles reverse. Can I get one more, please? The High Priestess. What's at the bottom of the deck? The Hangman. Thank you. Okay, so basically, <laughs> it's basically everything that we've been saying. Um, I feel like this person, they know what they want with the Nine of Cups and the Page of Wands. They know what they're attracted to. They know what what seems exciting, What what seems um what, what motivates them what you know whatever they're passionate about king of wands queen of wands and the page of wands um they know what they want they know what would make them happy even with the eight of nine of cups sorry but i feel like they keep this hidden and they just think about this but they don't really act on it with the hangman what's behind this yep there's a tower so once again it's almost like someone is hesitating or trying to delay a tower um i feel like this tower is coming anyway scorpio there is no avoiding towers there's no such thing <laughs> people try you know people try to um prolong a tower from falling you know but towers are meant to happen they are necessary in the cycle of life i guess there's there's no one that lives their entire life without at least one tower you know so let's see, tell me about the High Priestess then. And um, it could possibly be that the Page of Wands is indicating that this person, or at least one of you, will have at least a small uh, message or communication here. Tell me about the High Priestess. But once I saw the High Priestess, I thought, there's no way, you know, we'll see. Tell me about the High Priestess. What do we need to know about this High Priestess? Ace of Cups. Tell me about the Page of Wands. Why is the Page of Wands here? What can you tell me about this Page of Wands? Yeah, Four of Cups. There's a Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So once again, this is just the same energy, Temperance, Sagittarius energy, and the Ten of Cups. I mean, and the Ten of Swords. So I feel like this is someone that's trying to make something work. Keep the balance, keep the peace, perhaps. But the Four of Corp, Four of Corps, if I could talk. The Four of Cups is a card about someone that's not open to opportunities. Their hands are crossed. They're not reaching out for that cup, right? They're in. They're unhappy, but that doesn't mean that they're reaching for that cup. So what I'm getting here is almost like someone's delaying or preventing themselves for reaching for this opportunity because once they do, it's going to cause this Ten of Swords. I hope that makes sense. So Scorpio, I'm going to leave it there. Otherwise, I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for watching, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, so you can see more readings from me. Thank you so much to everyone that is so supportive and kind in the comments and continues to support the channel by, you know, liking, subscribing, and doing all that fun stuff. It really does help the channel a lot because you're just telling YouTube that you enjoy the readings. So 
they show them to more people. Um, all right, Scorpio, I'm going to leave it there and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.